Okay. All right, right. Shut up. You shut That's up. That's why your shoes raggedy. That's why your mama dead. Dead as hell. What shoes she got on? What shoes she had on her casket? Secret Secret, 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 secret tunnel, yeah. I'm actually not a Chad. I'm just the opposite, and I'll prove it to you. Hey, I think you're really pretty, but I also have a lot of respect for you. Thank you. Wanna hook up? Sounds good to me, but not without your consent. Cool guys get consent. <laughs> Haven't you heard? Right, I'm gonna say some stuff is May, so... Orange is such an awful color. I can't act. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you miscalculated. <laughs> you miscalculated. I love Zuko more than I fear you. Fuck else does she say fuck? I just asked if you were cold. I didn't ask for your whole life story. Why are y'all telling me I sound like her? I don't. Why would I want that? <sighs> Maybe stupid girls. <laughs> I can't act. Like... I'm just gonna make something up. Azula, you're in jail. He's the Fire Lord now. A lot of people say that Toph's trauma surrounds her blindness. Or that she doesn't have any trauma because she comes from such a wealthy family and her life is essentially untouched by the war unlike every other character. I disagree with both of these. I love that they included a wealthy character whose life wasn't affected by the war because it shows that even if your life looks fine and dandy on the outside doesn't mean that you're free of trauma. To be honest with you, I don't think Toph cares that much that she's blind. She even tells Aang that she's never really had a problem seeing. No, her trauma is not about how she sees the world, it's how the world sees her. Toph is so extremely looked down on and sheltered that people don't even know she exists. Talk about abuse of control and theft of autonomy. This really reminds me of people who are in abusive relationships. Just because somebody's giving you gifts and wealth and they're protecting you doesn't mean that you're not being abused. Think about how controlled and brainwashed she must have been that she didn't even tell them she could see. It must hurt so bad to not be accepted for who you are by the people who are supposed to love you most. I think that's why so many people in the LGBT community really relate to Toph. Because even if you have hobbies that you're really good at, stable wealth, and are welcomed by friends, if you have to hide who you are from your family, you can't be happy. So, what anime do you want to go to? Uh, Avatar. I don't think she heard me. I said, what anime do you want to go to? And I said, Avatar, The Last Airbender. I thought that's what she said. Um, well, that's technically not an anime, but... Okay. Yes, it is. How are you going to tell me? I'm literally god of anime. And you still don't know what's an anime and what's not. You know, if I really wanted to, I can put you in any anime just to F you over. So I died for no reason? Uh, okay, how about this? I'll put you in Avatar as long as you keep your mouth shut. So Avatar is an anime! Shh! Oh my god, why are you so loud? Shut up! This stays between us. As long as I can go in as May, we got a deal. <sighs> okay, deal. Now a cowboy needs a hat, needs a hat, needs a hat, and a pair of fancy boots, fancy boots. When marimba rhythms start to play, dance with me, make me sweat. Drink me some bleach, boys, and eat my soul. I want It's free real estate. You have to stop keeping your Avatar The Last Airbender obsession a secret. In order to form real, genuine connections in this world, you have to find someone who truly understands the significance of Yip Yip. Someone who will go to a tea shop with you, only to pretend that Iroh brewed the tea and Zuko is serving it to you. Someone who will do the dragon dance with you on a Friday night just to learn from the firebending masters. Someone who understands Azula's struggle in life and Katara's mother's necklace. And lastly, someone who will just greet you with a solid hello. Zuko here. Hi friends, oh my gosh. I stay amazed by the talent that is brought into this Avatar fandom. 
I am freaking out from this artwork. Credits to J-U-N-D Art. Okay, look at this first one with Zuko and May on a little picnic day and the little turtle ducks. I can't, so cute. My Katang heart is so freaking happy right now. Look how cute they are together. And the funniest part, look at Sokka getting attacked. <laughs> I love this. Guys, look how cute. Isn't their little, oh, they're cooking. I am in love with this artwork. I mean, look how, what? What? Gosh, it's so good. <laughs> this is the artist Twitter. I can't get over how talented. I think this one's my favorite, mostly because Sokka's getting mauled by a whale. <laughs> I love it. I know I've said this before, but every time I rewatch Korra, I think of this. You cannot tell me that this guy and this chick are not Sokka's grandkids. Okay, my brother just sent me the best Avatar Last Airbender theory. Thank you to this guy from Instagram and this guy from Tumblr. As you've seen the title, the Southern Raiders were never looking for Katara. They were looking for Hama. I mean, it doesn't really make sense for them to know about Katara yet because she's just a little kid. Not to mention the Southern Water Tribe is pretty cut off from any other civilization. I mean, we all know that Hama was the last waterbender to be taken from the Southern Water Tribe, eventually figuring out how to bloodbend, and then escaping decades later. And that says decades, that means multiples of 10 years. So after Hama escaped, the Southern Raiders were eventually put on a mission to find the last Southern Water Tribe bender. I mean, a waterbender who can bend the blood in someone's body? This was a very important mission. So eventually when Ra finds Kaya and questions her, he needs to find that waterbender no matter what. So when Kaya takes the fall for being the last waterbender, they're not gonna take a bloodbender to prison. So, they end their life. Which means this evil witch bitch inadvertently caused Kaya's death, which makes her 10 times darker and creepier. <laughs> Okay, I think you've had enough. Who lit Toph on fire? We would be the strongest couple in the entire world. Please don't be a family member. Please don't be a family member. Oh, no thanks. I'll just stay single. Their outfit is sharp enough to puncture the hull of an Empire-class Fire Nation battleship. Oh, I think the filter's broken. This person would defeat me in an Agni Kai. Haha, -ha, I'm unbeatable, of course. This person has a crush on me. Stop it! No! <laughs> Why do I keep getting him? We need to have the discussion, so we're gonna have it! This man, 51. Pema, 35. What? What? First I was like, what in the world possess you, gorgeous woman, to go out with this uptight? Oh man, I'm not saying age differences are that weird. My, you know, it's not that weird, but I'm just saying, he's kind of got the personality of a beach, you know? Other than him being like one of the only airbenders in the world at the time, other than his dad and also being the Avatar's kid. Like other than that, other than the clout, what was it? What was it that made you go in this direction? And then I was like, why he built like Adam Driver though? I get it. I get it. Pema. Girl. I saw it. The minute. The minute I saw it, I said, oh girl. Yes. I understand. Fun facts about Avatar part one. You might've already known that Yue means moon in Chinese, but did you know that Suki comes from a Japanese word spelled T-S-U-K-I that also means moon? Clearly, Sokka has a type. Sokka might not be a waterbender, but he definitely feels the pole of the moon. 
Is Azula your favorite character? Here's what that says. Wait, what? Some of y'all like Azula? Here's what that says about you, you little psychos. You don't need no man and you let everybody know it. People constantly tell you you have RBF. You get extremely competitive. You either have a psycho ex or you are the psycho ex. And you have absolutely zero patience for people who drive too slow. Did you know that Suki and the Kyoshi Warriors were only supposed to appear in one episode? The Kyoshi Warriors originally were only supposed to appear in book one as a side story for the Avatar gang, but the fans loved them and especially loved Suki. So the writers decided to bring Suki back in the Serpent's Pass episode. Suki ended up being in not just one episode, but in 10, and was of course adored by tons of fans. Not only was Shisaka's love interest and helped shape his character, but she also helped drive the plot forward and saved the day on multiple occasions. Like this video if you think Suki's awesome and follow along if you want more fun facts. So tell me how's it feel Tell me how's it feel Sitting up there Feeling so high But you
Oh, 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 oh,